Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Day of the Tentacle. I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spider Mob, what you know all that already. So let's continue with Bernard gathering all kinds of more stuff that we can. Let's see what this it's pretty darn cold. Well, it's a nice machine, Bernard. It's supposed to be cold. It's pretty darn cold. I don't think I can pick that up. Oh yeah. No ice. Okay. How about the candy machine? Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. It's a candy machine and there's mm, that buzzing beef fluorescent jerky light in it. Makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Um beef jerky is salty, you know. It's not a candy. It's meat. Oh, whatever. Let's see if we can get the beef jerky. I don't think I can pick that up. Uh, open? It doesn't seem to open. Use? Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Well, I know Bernard tries to get it some way, but... Uh, 1952. I don't remember right now if I need to use the dime to get it. I think I needed to dive for something else, but... Well, let's open this door. We got a fat guy sleeping. Now there's a heavy sleeper. Oh, ha ha. A him. Do you ever inhale flies when you snore like that? I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. Too bad the snoring sound effect isn't working. It would be a really loud snoring sound. He lived in California until he was declared an earthquake hazard. I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Nice room you've got here. Where on earth do you buy furnishings this color? Well, there are stores. Well, thanks. Man. You've been really helpful. Oh, yeah, really helpful when you said nothing. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. Well, let's push the guy. I can't move him an inch. Well, yeah, Bernard tried to push big guy. Not gonna work. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't nice. miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 400 carat. I don't think that it's a legitimate uh, carat number. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Hmm. Well, since we have a dime. Damn it. Now he's even more on top of the sweater. Since we seems we need another dime. Where do we get another dime? We'll see about that later. For now, let's... Uh, it's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Well, then, in real life, that would work. But... Since this is a uh, wacky LucasArts uh, dimension, I guess it doesn't work. Neat. Neat. Disappear ink. Neat. Hello, Dwayne. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? No. That's not that depressing, you know. I know a robot that's more depressing than you. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody likes it. 
Uh, I wonder why not. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh, Did somebody explain to me what calisthenics is that makes him rupture his spleen? Sounds uh, suspicious. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Well, Nietzsche was the oh, best dressing cares? guy. Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Well, philosophy is a profession in a way because uh, they really need to be smart guys for their philosophy to stick in with you. Yeah. So, yeah. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? How about you saying that you're depressed? Bernard, you're an idiot. But Lassie, look in your eyes. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. Reverse 3D glasses is the one that I'm still thinking about. How does that work? In other words, it wouldn't work at all. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Oh, gee, thanks. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Uh, never mind. Would you be happy when you listen to Muzak? I wouldn't be. I can't see it very well from here. Well, let's get out of here then. Guy's really depressing. But we can cheer up later on. Not yet. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? And Green Tentacle, you're hiding in your own room. I'm sure Dr. Fred will find you. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Living daylights? I'm sorry, bad joke. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Like cow tipping like before? Or maybe painting all walls blue? It's just an idea. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it. Nice but hint. I was thinking hint. more along the lines of politics. Politics. Well, that would work. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. Uh... Okay, I won't ask. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Green tea and the sushi platter. Got your name. Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Well, it doesn't uh, require much. Just push it up to 11. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Well, that works. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. 
Of course we want to hear him. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. B-Man. Neat! It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Oh, of course. Hey, nice learn trooper helmet up there. Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my 8-tracks in it. 8-tracks? Seriously, Bernard? You're such Powerful a nerd. looking speaker. Such a nerd. Such a nerd. Wow, this is loud. I'd rather not. There we go. That did it. It's too heavy for me to pick up. <sighs> Bernard. Whew. That was loud. Uh oh. This looks like it might work. It's pretty small. Well, that's all we need to do, do here. Meanwhile. Fru Fru Emerald stolen, Circular Prince left behind. Was he leaning against the wall in the picture? Because there were suction cups on the wall. Purple tent was weird. Yeah, onwards we go. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Hey, aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah. I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Does it have anything to do with a hamster? All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but... something... happened to him. You used to have a really smart hamster, huh? And that's not smart, that one there. Reading a newspaper, and he walked into a long way to Bernard's house. And somehow the hamster is back here. Yeah, not a smart hamster at all. Yeah. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light. And this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like ding. Oh god, I hear it in my dreams till this day. So, um, according to Weird Ed here, if I would have done the first game, so it would be in canon with this game. I would have made the uh, hamster explode in the microwave oven, and I had Sid, I was, I would have been able to do so. How brutal! Thanks, LucasArts. 
Thank you very much. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. <laughs> that hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Well, he certainly has changed. No, he's a stamp collecting wuss. And also, interesting point, if you use the computer, you can actually play the first game on it. Fully. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Because I've already played the game. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Pony Express stamps. I would I would say that those would be valuable since they're old. Like 200 years or so. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, not a smart hamster. Yeah. Right. Nice one, Red Ed. Let's try to pick him up. Yay, we got a hamster. We don't have your hamster at all. No, no. Okay, I think I gotta call that an episode. Lots of talk and lots of, um, well, lots of dialogue. This is mostly what the game is all about anyway. Lots of dialogue in it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and I will see you all in the next uh, episode or some other thing. I've been your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spider-1, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all later. Take care, people. Bye.